Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS laptop. This one is an ASUS X407M model. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to install Windows 10 from the USB drive. I made another video how to create Windows 10 USB boot drive. So you can check that link in the video description. Once you have your Windows 10 USB drive ready, it's simply for every laptop is kind of different you need to find that key combination for the boot menu so i'm going to show you guys what are the key combination how to install it on this asus model so you want to grab your usb drive you're going to plug into the right side of the usb port right here all the way in and as soon as you press the power on button you want to tap on the escape every one second keep tapping until you get a boot device from here so once you are in this place here, let me turn on one of the lights off so you guys can see it better. There we go. All right, once you are in this menu, right now pretty much is, is showing you Windows Boot Manager. If you have another hard drive, if you, have win, if you already have a Windows, it's gonna show you Boot Manager. Other, otherwise, it's gonna show you U, UEFI, which is my Samsung flash drive. You, if you have a different brand of the USB, you want to choose your USB drive and you want to press enter. And right after that, it's going to tell you which one you want 64 bit or 32 bit. We're going to be installing always a 64 bit. And you're going to just wait for the process to go through. So, pretty much, it's going to bring you to this menu. It's going to tell you what language and what you want to choose. And in this case, my Windows is in Spanish. Pretty much you want to choose your language, which is Mexi Spanish, Mexico, and format, whatever format you want, and then you want to click next. And then you want to click install now. And right now we're going to, this is like all the terms and the policy. So you're just going to click accept terms and you want to click next. Now it's going to give you two options, upgrade or you want to do a customize. You want to click the second one down here. You want to click on the customize and it's going to take you to the hard drive. If you have one hard drive, it's going to show you drive zero, drive zero, drive zero. That means these, all these partitions are belong to one drive. If you have a two drive, it's going to tell you drive zero, 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 and there should be a drive one or drive two. So what you want to do, you want to delete all the ones that it says drive zero. So you want to click on it and click delete and accept. And you want to do that for all the ones that say drive zero, which is your Windows drive. So I click on the drive zero and they all just going to go sum up to the one big partition. So I'm going to click drive zero, delete, accept. So now I'm going to have one big in drive zero right here, which is about 240 gig. So now if you have another hard drive, it's going to say drive one. You don't want to touch your next other drive if you have files in it. So you want to grab this drive after you're deleting all the partition and simply just click next. You don't need to click new. Just click next. And now the window is going to start installing on that. It's going to do all its own partitions, div divisions and it's going to start installing it let it go all the way through and it's going to do a few restart and it's going to take you to a configuration and customization of the windows it is very very important when you do this process if you want to do it properly do not connect to any internet cable or do not want to connect to a wi-fi it's going to give you wi-fi connection you want to connect to wi-fi just say escape i don't have wi-fi or neither do connect the you know ethernet cable the reason is because as soon as you connect to the internet and once you get to the desktop you're going to get all those bloatware installed in your windows and you don't want to do that you want to have a fresh install with no bloatware no extra uh, affiliated programs everything installed in the windows so make sure you follow the steps after this one i'm going to show you one by one so we're going to let it go through and I'll be back once it does the restart and takes you to the configuration menu. So 
All right, so I did the first restart and it's going through. So it's gonna say preparing and doing some stuff. So we're gonna let it go through. All right, so it says one moment, so give it a lot of time. So. Hola, soy Cortana y estoy aquí para ayudarte. All right, so when Cortana starts talking, okay. just click on the mute button down there. All right, there. To keep it quiet, just click on the microphone icon, so it will keep the Cortana stop talking. So wait a second. Let them realize that you're not using the microphone and it's going to take you to manual override. There we go. So now it's going to choose your region, US, Canada, whatever you want to choose, choose your region and click next. Choose your keyboard style in US or Spanish or Latin America. Just click next. In here, you want to just you want to add another style of keyboard. Just click Escape, and it says right now this is important. It says you want to connect to Wi-Fi. Even if you have Wi-Fi, just click No. I don't have a Wi-Fi connection. It's very important. You don't want to connect to Wi-Fi. In this part, you don't want to just continue. And just click Continue with a limited connecting connection configuration. Continue with the limiting, just click on that link, give the name, for the password you can assign a password if you want or just leave it blank. Now this next step you want to remove all these checks from the location and all these spy things that the Windows have if you don't want. I don't want my data go automatically to Windows, any error, whatever. So just add ID and everything, personalization. Just remove all those and click accept. I think I missed one, but it's okay. Let me see if I can go back. Yeah, let me try again. This one over here, this one over here. So you can always go back if you missed there's an error just go accept in here you said you want to permit cortana to do stuff for you easy just click no not now and that should be all now it should take you to a desktop once you're in the desktop you still do not want to connect to a wi-fi or to any connection to internet connection All right, once you're in a desktop right now, the first thing you want to do is just for the Microsoft Edge, just click maybe later. Now we want to minimize this uh, what's called Cortana bar, just right click in here and go to the Cortana um, and just right click and click only icon, show icon, uh, click these two checks, remove them. And from there you want to go to the start menu these are the ones that they're going to start out of Candy Crush and McAfee and everything else. Is, they are ready here waiting for you to get internet connection so they can start downloading. So that's the reason we don't want to connect to internet. So we're going to click on every arrow. You want to right click and you want to unpin it from the start menu. Once you unpin it from here, they are not going to download because this is a shortcut to get download the program as soon as you get internet connection. So you, there's a whole bunch in here. So you want to just right click unpin from the start menu unpin unpin the microsoft store i usually unpin it from here i'm not in removing it microsoft edge unpin photos unpin the arrow obviously unpin now i have my own installation of the microsoft office so i like to uninstall them just right click and uninstall if you don't want to uninstall you have your license just get these ones and unpin the shortcuts and uninstall Microsoft Office. Once you did all this, 
Next step, you want to go to the Windows configuration. You want to go to the system. And here you want to go to and turn on, turn off, and you want to turn this one down to five or never. So it shouldn't turn off the screen or it will not should go to a standby. Never, because when you want to do an update, initial update, it takes about one hour, two hours. So you don't want to randomly turn off. Once you finish that, go back. Now you want to go to privacy and go all the way down on this side on the background application. On the second background application, just uncheck it. Okay. And close this one. Now you have the whole windows. If you want to get the drivers and everything ready, just go ahead and connect to your Wi-Fi connection. Once you get the Wi-Fi connection or internet cable connection, then now you can go to configuration, go to windows update and click on the look for our update and it's going to start downloading major updates and all the drivers everything for your laptop so if your screen is not even in a proportion way so don't worry about it just do a windows update let it go through let it finish and once it's finished updating come back and do a re-update recheck make sure there's no more update left until you get a green little green check mark once you do that and then you set to go then last thing would be to just grab your uh, normal programs and install your regular programs and that's how you install the windows proper way if you don't want to get any blood or anything like that i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out and if it did please click the like button and think about subscribing if you want to support the channel i really appreciate it if you have any questions or requests leave them in the comments i'll try to answer them as soon as i can again thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys in my next video